Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. My name is Gentleman Ghost and today I'm here to bring you another episode of Quick Bit Legends. Now in the last episode, we managed to get up and running our infinite uh, Project E, uh, basically the infinite bone um, creator. However, I have spent some time on that. And now, we have this. Now, it may not look like much. Not much has changed, really, uh, except for a few bits and pieces. Uh, now, the macerator, I have switched out the bones for... Why isn't the... Oh, right. The macerator's run out of power again. Uh... Yeah, this is what the one inefficiency in this system. It runs out of power extremely quickly. Um, so basically, uh, I replaced the bones with blaze rods because they yield a higher EMC. Uh, about, uh, if I remember correctly, when I was reading the wiki, blaze rods when macerated they wield 24 times as much as bones so they are much more efficient now I added this distribution pipe which is a bit like a diamond pipe in essence it diverts the flow of certain items but in this case it diverts them in a certain amount so before with the bones you had three bones going in that chest and two going in this one this is another new addition by the way uh, which would then uh, the three in there would remake a bone and the two in here would make something else um, now however with the replacement of the bones for the blaze the blaze rods only need two to recreate so two go in there and three go in here and in here, ladies and gentlemen, we have been creating diamonds. Oh yes, we have been creating diamonds from, well, practically nothing. Uh, now, I also replaced the cobblestone transport pipes of stone ones because they're slightly faster. And that's pretty much it. I uh, added some overclockers to the, um, the macerator and so on and so forth. However, today, we are going to be getting on and working on those wings, because we need wings. Uh, we can't really do anything without wings, to be honest. Um, so, as you can see, I also made a bit of dark matter, uh, and I'm going to stick that there. And I'm going to stick some diamonds in here, and we've almost got another one. Um, so the dark matter I made after a long while. It took me quite a while. So I'm just going to stick half a stack of diamonds in there, and that'll make two more pieces of dark matter. And then uh, stick four more, and one more in there. And we have our last piece of dark matter there. Uh, now the dark matter... I made, uh, took me a very long time. So, first of all, I needed to get a block of diamond, and I also needed to get, um, ugh, key bindings. Uh, I also needed to get, where did I put it? Here it is. Aeternalis fuel. Now, to make Aeternalis fuel, you need Mobius fuel. To make Mobius fuel, you need alchemical coal, and for that, you need normal coal. Now, the problem with this is, it takes one stack of normal coal to make Mobius fuel. So you can imagine the amount it takes to make Aeternalis fuel. You see, four stacks to make one Aeternalis fuel. Four stacks of coal. Then, to make the dark matter, to make the first piece of dark matter, 
you use eight Aeternalis fuel. So multiply four stacks of coal by eight. You'll have the amount of coal that would normally be needed to make one piece of dark matter, plus the nine diamonds that go into the block of diamond. However, I made one piece of dark matter, and then the rest was made in here. I'm just going to put some diamonds in there. And then we get more diamonds, which is pretty much a perfect solution, to be honest. But yeah, now we have our dark matter, we are going to move on to the next stage of making our flight ring, uh, which is uh, not that. Um, let's see. Ah, here it is. Swiftwolf's Rending Gale. For those of you who are from the old Tekkit days, you'll recognize this fairly easily. Um, now, Swiftwolf's Rending Gale allows for flight, uh, and it requires four dark matter, four fe feathers, and an iron band. And the iron band is nine ironing, no, eight iron ingots, and one bucket of lava, which I shall be collecting presently. Uh, in fact, I shall go and collect it now. And while I do that, I am going to tell you a little bit on my designs for this castle. Uh, now, as you can see, I still only have this one tower. I haven't really done much work on it since the last episode, uh, especially considering the fact that the last episode I filmed about seven hours ago, and I'm starting to record these more frequently because otherwise I forget to record them and stuff just doesn't work. Um, but, yeah. So, moving on. Oh, dear, Creeper. Creeper, that's a creeper. Run for it. Run for it. Ugh, I hate... Oh, God, there's another one. Um, but, yeah, moving on. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, there is, in fact, lava somewhere near here. Yeah, creeper. Ooh, that was lucky. Oh, zombie. All right. Um, let me just deal with this guy. Now, my designs on the castle, as you can see, I've got one really tall, thin tower, but as you may have spotted, can't really fit that many machines in it. It's really rather cramped. So, I'm planning on building a much, much, much bigger castle, or rather, some much larger towers. Oh. Ah, there's the lava. I knew it was here somewhere. Uh, now, one bucket of lava. Actually, I'll take two just for good measure. Uh, and then we can be off back up the, the mountain, which uh, will take a moment. But, yeah, it'll be easy. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to build a few larger towers, maybe just one larger tower, and a few slightly wider towers. I'm still going to have two small towers, uh, so that one there and the other one that I started building a while back, never quite finished it yet, though. It's on the edge of the mountain, just over there. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to keep those two towers uh, for now, and then uh, I'm going to add sort of a from this window, we can see pretty good. I'm going to add one very large tower over there. And there'll be a wall going across here. And possibly a wall going across there. And I might have a gate somewhere over this area. I don't know yet, but it's, it's still being planned out. So don't quote me on anything I say in this video. Um... Right, so now we need to go and get some iron. Yes, indeed. Uh, where'd I put the iron? Um, do we have any feathers? Good question. Okay, so we need eight iron. And I needn't worry about actually going mining for it anymore because, well, reasons. Um, what was... Oh, iron furnace. 
Okay, we have an iron band, and then we put the dark matter in the corners, and, uh, yeah, we don't have any feathers, do we? Damn. Um, okay, uh, is there any way I can make feathers? That is a good question. Scrap box. Um... No, there is no way I can make feathers. Okay, let's go and try and find a chicken. Now I'm really wishing I hadn't condensed those feathers. Um, actually, I might have some in the chests down there. Let me go check. No. 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 No, and uh, no. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to go searching for fe feathers. Ugh. I had soup earlier and uh, it's burnt my tongue slightly, so that's probably why I'm not feeling quite right. Uh, yeah, sandpapery tongue and all that. Ugh. Um. Okay, where's a chicken? I need to find a chicken. Uh, chicken. Chick, chick, chick. Maybe I should sleep first. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good idea. Um, what else? Um, so, basically, I'm thinking, build a big door, sort of here. And in the newest version of Tekkit, uh, that is this version, Tekkit Legends, um, there is no form... Well, there is a form, but we no longer have... Uh, red, redstone in motion, I think it's called. Instead, we have remain in motion, which is very much like the original mod, uh, except for the fact that it's slightly different. That makes no sense. Wait, do I? I swear I. No. Okay, never mind. Um. But yeah, so we've got that, and I might be using those mods to make some form of maybe a sliding door, because I want my door to be really, really big um, and impractical, because that's cool, I think. That's what I think, anyway. So the door is sort of going to be used for occasional stuff only, maybe when I'm flying around and I need a quick way in, something like that. But I've been going through different ways of building a door and it is complicated. So I'll probably time lapse that at some point when I actually build my castle and so on and so forth. But it's all a work in progress, which, uh, well, at some point I hope I will actually be able to complete. Uh, now, unfortunately for me, in this version of Tekkit Legends, I don't think we have force fields. Yeah, no, we don't. We have we have no force fields. If we did, I would be using them uh, to sort of make a door, but because that is possible, but we don't have any, so I can't, which is slightly annoying because the original version of Tekkit did in fact uh, have force fields, however, this one does not, which is a complete and utter shame. I should probably ask the devs if we can have them, uh, but then again I'd have to get in contact with the devs, and um, getting in contact with people isn't something I... it's something I very rarely enjoy. I much, I've much, i always much preferred my, sort of my isolation, um, yeah people. I'm a gamer at heart. I I can stay in my room all day long and not give a care about what the world thinks. Um, but yeah, so I would have done the door that way so that it was thinner. And I know that there is a way to make the door open with uh, blocks underneath it. But the problem with that is I'd have to move the entire floor as well, 
which I'm not willing to do um, because it would, for one thing, it would show the redstone because when the door moves, it vanishes and then reappears. So it doesn't actually move across, unfortunately, as much as I wish it would. Uh, I've probably strayed far out of chicken territory, haven't I? Um, yeah, I have. Okay, so let's keep going this way. But, yeah. So, if, um, if I do end up doing a door, I'll be using Remain in Motion, and I will be keeping some form of huge gate uh, in my castle and I'll probably be doing some other stuff and uh, we'll see where I go from there to be honest because I would like to actually start making a power suit although I do know that there is some form of nano suit or nanotech armor I haven't quite looked into that, and I do know that there's also the flux-infused armor. How I am hungry. I require steak. So there's the flux-infused, uh, no, the, well, the redstone flux-infused armor. We don't actually have proper flux-infused armor because no thorncraft and so on. Although that would be nice to have as well. That would actually be quite cool to have. Um... So yeah, I'll get that sorted at some point, and there's a ton of plans that are still in preparation, and we might even have someone new joining the series, or, well, not every day joining, but occasionally joining me for a few episodes to help me with my ongoing quest to annihilate the world and discover new technology. Uh, you may have spotted him in my other series, uh, Ghost Labs, go check it out if you want to. Um, but uh, yeah, he knows quite a bit more about this stuff than I do. I'm just discovering it as I go along, uh, not really paying attention to what I'm doing half the time. I still need to find this chicken. Have I literally gone past chickens and never seen them? Are they? Are they? Are chickens invisible in this? Have they literally gone to ground and hidden from me? Oh, I certainly hope not. If they have, I'll be supremely annoyed. Um, there's a cow. Uh, no chickens. That's... mildly confusing. There's squids! which you hardly ever see this far inland, um, but still no chickens. This is annoying me. Well, guys, I think I'll cut back in um, when I find a viable chicken to destroy and steal its feathers. Chicken! I found one! Finally, after all this time, it has been years since I left my castle, and I have now found a chicken. And I fall in a hole. Die. Two feathers. Not enough, but we can duplicate them, so it's fine. But I heard another one. You shall die. Feathers. Good. All right, let's try and find our way back to the castle. Ah, home at last. Brilliant. We now have the feathers we needed, and we can get some more, thankfully. Um, because, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, we can get some more. Um, I wonder how many diamonds we've got. Ooh, 51. Oh, good, I'll have to take those out in a moment. So I've emptied my inventory. Uh, take those off. Take those out. And that can go in there. Uh, that can go in there. That can go in here. No. Where did I? 
Uh, I don't remember. Uh, we also got nine rose bushes, nine me nineteen melons. Um, I'll stick those away. Um, okay, and then we just grab these. Um, stick that in there, and that's enough feathers. Just keep making those diamonds, baby. Keep making those diamonds. All right, we are almost done. All we need to do now is that, and we have our Swift Wolf's Rending Gale. Which apparently does nothing. Uh, yeah, I think that's because we need a Klein Star to work with it. Um, Klein Star, yes. Klein Star, we need Mobius Fuel and Diamonds. And I'm sure I have Mobius Fuel here somewhere. No, I have Alchemical Coal, but I can make a Mobius Fuel out of it. There we go. Oh, no, wrong thing. I need a crafting table. And that can go in there. This, 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 this. Mobius Fuel, there we go. Give me back my Philosopher's Stone. Uh, now, if we stick that there... Oh dear, we've run out of power again, haven't we? Damn it. Um, uh, I'll just use this for now. That'll do. It'll do. It'll do. And then I want to make some Eternalist Fuel. Um, so that I do not have to uh, run around like headless chicken in again. Um, okay, so let's see. We have one more Mobius fuel. We need three more, and we need a diamond, but that's easy now. Diamonds are no longer uncommon for me. In fact, they are quite very, yeah, they are very common. Um, and two more, and we should have our first Klein Star. Uh, now, let me figure out how to charge this. Oh! Okay, um, so... Okay, so Swiftwolf's Rending Gale seems to run off of a certain amount of EMC that it is it has stored in it, so long as you have a Klein Star with you at all times. That is quite interesting. Um, hmm. Well, maybe it's just because I was walking around. I can't really tell. Um... I should probably get off here before Swift Wolf's Rending Gale runs out of power. Uh, now, I believe that for Swift Wolf's Rending Gale to work, we require, uh, or rather to charge the Klein Star, we have a Klein Star Ein. I would like to get a Klein Star Omega, but we'll have to settle with his way which requires four Klein Stars. It's a tiered system, basically. It's a tiered system. We'll get there eventually. But I think, to charge our Klein Star, we need a transmutation plate. Transmu... Transmutation table, sorry. However, I am going to leave it here for today, ladies and gentlemen, because we've got quite a bit done. Uh, we now have our first, um, stick that in there. Uh, we now have our first Klein Star. We have our first Swift Wolf's Rending Gale. And when we set up suitable power sources 
for both, we shall be building our castle. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I have been Gentleman Ghost. You have been awesome for watching this. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And we shall see you all next time in Quick Bit Legends. Bye! <laughs>